All right. All right, hey y'all, this is Whitney Nicely. I'm the broker for Whitney Buys Houses and chief investor at Whitney Properties, LLC. So today I'm gonna to show you my exact strategy to buy houses with a hundred bucks. Oh dear. Hey y'all, this is Whitney Nosley, the broker for Whitney Buys Houses and chief investor at Whitney Properties. Today, I'm gonna show you my exact strategy to buy houses with a hundred bucks. Now I gotta tell you, my goal today is to teach you how to easily and consistently start buying houses in your neighborhood and help you get started towards your path to financial freedom. So please turn off the book face and quieten the dog because this stuff is going to rock your world. All right, and hopefully everything I'm about to share with you is gonna give you a huge shift in your thinking and really help you understand what's actually possible. And if you stay with me until the end, I'll give you a little secret link to grab a free copy of my 10 simple steps to buy a house today. All right, but I don't wanna hold things up. I've got a bunch of cool things to talk about. So real quick, the title of this presentation is How to Buy a House with 100 Bucks. And I might even tell you a few embarrassing stories from my first few deals. All right, first things first. What makes this webinar different from any other webby that you've watched? Well, I'm not going to pitch you to buy anything at the end. So relax, keep your credit card in your wallet where it belongs. This is not that kind of presentation. All right, good. Now you're probably a little bit more curious about who I am and why I'm qualified to teach people to buy houses. Well, in the last three years, I've completed over 50 real estate deals without using my license, a bank, my credit, or any real money. And I'll also tell you that I am heavily licensed in Tennessee and Georgia, as you can see. But out of all of my deals, I decided to keep 19 of those houses, 19 apartments, and a bunch of random land across East Tennessee. And that's why I coach now. I mean, seriously, my favorite part of real estate is negotiating the deals. So I like to work with my students and help to make sure that they're making big money also. And honestly, it gets kind of boring just waiting on those rent checks to come in every month. <laughs> All right, but it wasn't always rainbows and unicorns for me. All right, remember I was a newbie with nothing three short years ago. And some of you probably know this story, but when I first started, I didn't exactly hit it out of the park on my first try. And that's shocking, I know. And I'll tell you too that I don't usually go into this much detail, but you guys really need to hear about my beginning, about the beginning of this journey for me. All right. I was trying, trying, trying. I was going to seminars. I was going to boot camps. I was listening to CDs, pitching on the phone, going to sellers' houses. I was running around crazy, basically just determined to make this thing work and running off adrenaline with dollar signs in my eyes. And then it happened my boyfriend busted my bubble and guys i'll never forget the drop in altitude that i felt we were on the phone one night while i was at yet another real estate seminar and i was rattling on and on and on about all the great new exciting things that i'd learned that day in class when he said to me "Whit, you clearly have church camp mentality no one is going to work with you nobody needs someone to buy their house this way it won't work. You've wasted your time and your money on this wild goose chase. It's time to give it up and come back home. Guys, like, I hope I don't have to tell you how much that hurt me. I mean, this is my boyfriend we're talking about. This is the guy that I secretly planned on. I mean, like, I hadn't told him, but I told a couple of my girlfriends, but I was planning on marrying him, all right? I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life with him and build this portfolio with him by my side. It was completely unreal. And I went to bed that night totally conflicted. And I gotta tell you, it absolutely sucked. And I tell you that story because a lot of you are in a spot like this right now, where someone in your life is giving you extra doses of the negative Nancy's, or they're trying to keep your feet grounded with their Debbie Downer comments. About time you told them to shove off all right you have hopes and dreams of becoming a hotshot real estate investor and i know that you can do it take a second here and just imagine what your life would be like if once you know how to buy these houses with just a hundred bucks in your spare time 
And imagine what it was like to collect five or six figure paydays from minimal amounts of work. All right, now imagine just for a second how amazing it would feel to shove your first big real estate check in your boss's face as you march out the door. Or, okay, maybe you're classier than I am and you would just ever so casually pick up the tab next time you're at dinner with all these party pooper friends who are doubting your house buying abilities. Can you see the look on their face? <laughs> But ignore them for a second. What about the look on your mom's face when you buy her a new house? Or the look on your kids' faces when you're able to give them the most magical vacation they've ever imagined? Or you're able to send them to a fancy private school now that you can afford it without worrying about tuition? Guys, what is your life going to look like a year from now when you're making $10,000 a month easily and consistently? And what's your life gonna look like in three years? All right? Maybe then we can actually start to think about that elusive creature called retirement. You know what I mean? All right. Well, stick with me, champ. I'll help you get there. And hopefully I'll help you get there faster than I did. And maybe even a little bit easier. All right. Because during my whole journey here, I've done a lot of things right. But Lord knows I've done a lot of things wrong. And, you know, like buying this house. This is one of my very first deals. It had squishy floors like a sponge and there were fleas everywhere. My brother Tyler begged me not to buy it, but I'm kind of stubborn, so I did. And it was the most disgusting place I'd ever been in at the time. <laughs> I've been in some gross places since then. But so over the last eight years, I've been through lots of real estate transactions as the investor, the flipper, the buyer, and the seller. And I've learned quite a few tricks and tidbits to help you along your journey. You know, unless you're a stubborn mule and you wanna suffer through it the hard way yourself. Do you? Do you want real estate income through the long, hard, winding road? Or do you want a shortcut to your real estate advantage? This right here, lease options, that is the key to trimming years off your learning curve. You have to master lease options. So real quick, what is a lease option? Well, very simply put, it is a really fancy lease agreement that you have with the seller of a property. And in that same paperwork that you sign that they're gonna sell it to you or lease it to you, they're also agreeing to sell you the property. And finally, a lease option gives you the ability to make payments and close sometime in the future. All the while, you're making payments and owing less and less money to the seller every single month. Now, lease options are also called rent to own. Sometimes it's a lease with option to purchase. And sometimes maybe even some people will confuse it with owner financing. But basically, it's the shortcut to the riches you deserve. Does that make sense? Well, I'm going to go over it a little bit more. So stick with me here. All right. Now, in the beginning, I gave you a snapshot into my portfolio and my track record to date. But please understand that I'm not telling you that to impress you, but really to impress upon you that three years ago, I had nothing. And you can go from getting started to cash flowing a real estate portfolio in just a few months. It's all possible. All right. Now, during this presentation, I'm going to cover three core secrets and I want you taking notes. All right. Now, this is just a preview slide, so I'll go into lots of detail in a minute. All right. Secret number one. I'm going to show you the one thing that will allow you con to consistently buy houses for 100 bucks. You can and should do real estate deals like I'm going to show you every single day or at the bare minimum once per month. And most people want to do real estate because they want more money and they want it without having to clock into a job every day. I mean, that's the reason why we invest in real estate, am I right? We want more money. <laughs> All right. So that's secret number one. Now, secret number two, and I want you to understand that you can afford to buy houses because you don't need a bunch of money to buy these houses. You don't need a trust fund or a hefty down payment that takes years to save just to become a real estate investor. All right. Whatever goal it is that you have or whatever it is that you're wanting to get out of real estate investing, it's not that far away. In fact, the, le the last three houses that I bought, I just gave the seller a hundred bucks. And I know you've got a hundred bucks to get started in real estate, right? 
All right, now, secret number three, you only need a few motivated sellers to make this work. That's right, this is gonna work in your market, even your hot sellers market. Because anywhere that you have houses and you have people, this is gonna work. I'll show you what I mean and how this process looks similar across the country. And guys, it's way easier to get these lease option deals than you think. I really want you to understand that from the beginning. And yes, okay, I'll admit it, the first one is hard, but I don't know how many of you tried to break into real estate and like investing already, but the first one is the hardest. And it really took me two or three months to start to see my action gaining traction out there. But once I did the first one, then I could do it over and over and over again. And I'm going to show you that process as well. Oh, and I have a special bonus for you tonight. So those are the three secrets, but I want you to know that I'm going to do a live house hunt tonight. And guys, seriously, as we go through this, post your questions or your aha moments there in the chat box, okay? I'm here to help you, but you have to let me know what it is that I said that you don't understand so that I can help you. All right, so my first lease option deal where I made the 15,000 and out in eight weeks, you wanna know about that, don't you? <laughs> so the couple that lived here, they wanted to move pretty quickly and they agreed to let me buy the house for what they owed on it and make payments to the bank for the next five years for them. I turned around and found someone who wanted to move to the area, but they couldn't buy anything until their old house sold. They wanted to rent the house from me for as long as it took. And you can imagine how excited all of us were when their house closed in eight weeks and they could buy this one. And that's how I got the first $15,000 check. All right, but let me tell you another quick little story. This is Sherry Williams, and she's been working with me since January. Well, right before my first weekend workshop, she got a contract to buy this vacation rental house with a lease option. Y'all, I am thrilled to tell you that she is bringing in $10,000 a month off her very first deal. And I don't know about you, but if a newbie can go from working 80 hours a week to adding $10,000 a month to her income every single month with one little deal, I would want to know everything I can about that process. You know what I mean? I mean, that's some pretty good stuff. And guys, I got to tell you that that's possible. And it's the same for a lot of us. A lot of us are trying to get to that $10,000 a month. In fact, you know, my little story started pretty similar. I was like most of you and I wanted to be a real estate investor, but I wasn't sure how to do it. And guys, I really stumbled at first with this new way of buying houses. I mean, I was a trucker girl. I sold dump trucks. Yeah, I had a real estate license, but I'd only used it once and I barely made 1200 bucks on my first listing. It was absolutely pathetic. And you know, like I said, I made some mistakes, especially when I was starting out investing. But those mistakes and the disasters that I went through, I learned from those situations so that I can help people like you do this yourself. And guys, nothing is worse than getting all this real estate information and not being able to use it out in the real world. But anyway, back to when I got started, I had gotten a few bites on my new plan, but I hadn't seen any money. And so that's when the fears came in. I was doubting myself. I had a shit ton of questions, which meant that my confidence was slipping. And I realized that I needed some accountability and someone to practice this strategy with. I wasn't really comfortable with all the information I had. I mean, does anybody know how that feels? Is, is there anything that I missed? <laughs> Are any of you feeling this way right now? Throw it in the chat box. If there's any kind of fears or apprehensions that I missed, if I missed them on this slide, I promise you I did not miss them in real life. So the only thing that I knew to do to overcome this was to throw myself back into another boot camp to learn even more about lease options. And I did go to Ron Legrand School in Jacksonville, Florida. I went four different times in one year. That's a lot of time in Florida to go to school. But while I was at the second workshop, I hired John Iannotti to be my mentor and guide me through the first six months of real estate investing with lease options. And guys, he didn't come cheap at $15,000, but it was an investment that I knew I needed to get the job done on a tight timeline. And two weeks after I got home, I landed my first seller contract. Eight weeks after that, I was grinning ear to ear, jumping up in front of a house and holding a big $15,000 check. And that's the deal that I just told you about. 
In fact, that story and my next deal are in Ron's book, The Less I Do, The More I Make. Maybe some of you have that book. <laughs> but anyway, I had my mentor and investment back in Hip National Bank and I was really ready to roll. Three weeks later, I had another check for 8,000, then another check came in for five, then another one for 10. All in all, I did 14 deals in my first year, averaging over $10,000 a month. And I know what you're thinking, who cares if Whitney can do it? I mean, that doesn't help you at all, right? But guys, I'm just a regular person, all right? Every expert was once a beginner, and it wasn't that long ago that I was a beginner. You can totally do this. Now, let me tell you another story about one of my students. This is Alleman, and he tried to do a deal for over a year. He came to my last weekend workshop, and within a month, he closed two deals. He made enough money on the first deal that he was able to buy another house free and clear. And actually, truth be told, after buying the second house, he still had a $1,000 check in his pocket. I mean, can you imagine making enough money to buy a house without a loan and walk away from the closing table with money to spare? Yeah, totally possible. And I want to tell you Sherry and Al's story for a couple reasons. I want you to understand that it's not just me. All right. This isn't the Whitney show. This is happening all the time. And these are people like you. And if you can just see that and believe it, it really becomes tangible and you'll know that you'll be able to do it, too. Also, you don't have to be an extrovert or a real estate professional like you don't need a license to buy houses. In fact, that's the reason a lot of my students have picked me because they are shy in front of strangers and they wanted someone to teach them how to do deals without feeling huge amounts of pressure. So it's people just like you. And yes, there's a few crazy loud people just like me. <laughs> but anyways, it is real people with real goals living real lives and they are taking my lessons and turning it into their real estate advantage in life. Uh, here's another lady in California, Ashley. She joined my one on one program last month and she already has two deals under contract. In fact, on Saturday this past weekend, she got a text from a seller who had originally told her no how, no way. But things had changed. And now the seller wants to talk to her more about putting a lease option on their house. I mean, every week, one or two or three of my students are sending me messages, pictures, screenshots. They've got contracts signed, their records are being broken, their confidence is soaring, guys, their fears are diminishing, their goals are being achieved, and they're getting those big checks. Oh gosh, I got a lot more of these testimonials than I thought I did. Hang on a second. <laughs> oh man, maybe I should take some of these out. Uh. Uh, there's my friends in Florida getting a, a, a duplex. Uh, here's Ashley saying she talked to somebody else who's open to terms. Uh, there's Al saying he just needs to get more deals done. All right. And there's Gary. All right. Whew. <sighs> Made it all the way through them. <laughs> all right. So I have mentioned lease options a couple times here and there, but let me break it down for you just a little bit more, okay? Because lease options are the one thing that you need that's gonna allow you to consistently buy houses for a hundred bucks. All right, so let's talk about lease options. Imagine someone has a house that they don't want anymore and they don't want it anymore for maybe a couple different reasons, but they basically don't wanna take the time to list it or they don't have the money to fix it or they just don't wanna spend the energy to find a tenant for it, all right? It's just easier for them to make the monthly payment and forget about it. And honest to goodness, guys, these people exist, all right? So I find these people and they let me start making their payments and agree to buy it for what they owe on it and close maybe five or 10 or 15 years into the future. All right. And then I find somebody in the area who have, you know, they usually have some bad credit or they're new to my market or maybe they're small business owners. OK, and we're going to call these people tenant buyers. So when they decide to buy this house from me, they give me move in money. They pay more rent than what my mortgage payment is every single month and they buy it for what it's worth instead of what my seller sold it to me for, which is what they owe on it. All right, that's kind of a sandwich lease option in a nutshell. 
So who wants to learn how they can make money three different ways? I mean, tell me yes, yes, yes in the comments. Yes, 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 yes. Everybody wants to make more money. I mean, show me the money. <laughs> That's how you do it, guys, with lease options. Those are the three ways that you can make money. It's the move-in money, $10,000, $40,000 when somebody moves into this house. It's the extra money that they pay you every month. And it's the difference between what you owe on it and what it's worth for a back-end payday. I love lease options. Okay, but let me tell you about my first little wholesale deal, okay? And lease options are not wholesaling. Um, my first, last, and only wholesale deal started with a seller calling me, and she originally wanted $100,000 for an apartment complex with 10 units. And guys, I was absolutely ecstatic because I just closed an 11 unit for $225,000. So I went to look at the property, and it was in a war zone. Then I looked up the history of the property and it was bad. I did a little bit more digging and found out that she owed almost $5,000 in back taxes. Ugh, it was bad. So I called her back and gave her a very low ball offer at $10,000. Well, you can imagine that she wouldn't have it. All right. She called me everything under the sun except a nice, sweet lady, if you know what I mean. But that was fine. Uh, and I didn't think another thing about it until she called me a month later and said that she would take $10,000. What? She went from $100,000 to $10,000 in less than a month. All right, cool. So we signed the contract for $10,000 and I was on cloud nine until I dug a little bit deeper into the research and found out that the apartment complex was condemned. <laughs> and it was due to be torn down in two weeks. Like WTF, I mean, she could have told me last month that it was condemned. But anyways, the clock was really counting down to when the bulldozers would be charging in and I had to act fast. So I ran downtown and started flirting with every codes inspector that I could find. And guys, I don't teach this strategy, okay? This is just what I did to get the deal done, but it worked. I got a 90 day extension on the on the con, on the condemned list. I can't say condemnation, <laughs> but then I found out that the property had a crappy title. All right. Not a deal breaker, but definitely a showstopper for me. OK, so up until this point, I was thinking about buying these 10 units and flipping them myself for a big old honking payday. Yes, I was thinking about buying the condemned apartment complex in a war zone where I wouldn't go by myself. All right, call me crazy. Wouldn't be the first time. But once I realized that the title wasn't pristine, I thought I'd be clever and give this whole wholesaling thing a, a little bit of a go. I mean, why not? So I posted it on Craigslist and Zillow for 15000 I mean, it needed a lot of work, guys. And some dude out of Baltimore went crazy over it. He absolutely fell head over heels in love with this dump. He said that he'd give me 13000 in two weeks when he got to town. And yeah, I'll hold my breath on that. But it was the best situation I had at the time. And he did show up with a check. The lady was able to find a title company to close this thing. And I collected $3,000. Guys, I'm telling you this because it wasn't worth it. Lease options are so much easier to find and you make so much better money with them. So lease options boil down to two different things, what and how. And guys, when I was in my first year, I really needed to master what kind of houses I was looking to buy and how I could buy these things without going to the bank, without putting my savings on the line and without risking my credit. What and how. Now, most sellers and almost every American in general, we've all been brainwashed to think that the only way to buy and sell real estate is with bankers or cold hard cash. And it just isn't true. Lease option deals are in your market, but you have to learn how to sniff them out. So how do we do this? Well, in this phase, we're really going to be trying to figure out what houses to buy and what offers to make. You've got to figure out your presentation. You've got to know how to walk through the first conversation with the seller, how to set up the appointment, how to walk the property and how to present offers beginning from the moment you get out of your car. Nobody likes to wait until they get to the kitchen table to have a hard negotiation. You've got to start that early. 
All right. And guys, I can't cover everything that I've learned in the last eight years in this short amount of time. So I'm just trying to get to as much as I can. But, you know, if you do what I do, what if you'll do what I teach you to do and, you know, what I do, you're going to consistently be making offers every single week, you know, for two or three months, just try it and try it and try it. And you're going to figure it out. You'll know what to say and when to say it. You're going to know who to say it to and how to solve their problems. You're going to learn how to be leading the conversation towards the sale. Now, earlier when I told you the story about Jason breaking my heart, guys, the worst part of it was that I'd already done a few deals and I knew it was possible. I was just in a little bit of a valley. And Jason didn't fully understand what I was offering these sellers and how I was helping them. But I was determined to make this work and grow it to be bigger, better and badder than any real estate investing strategy he'd ever imagined. And just a little side note, we are married now and I serve him a little bit of this every day for breakfast. <laughs> just keeping it real. <laughs> but anyway, back to this awful conversation. I woke up to a renewed energy to actually make this lease option thing happen. And I realized that so far, I'd only been talking to sellers who lived in their house and needed to move quickly. Guys, I was missing a huge part of the market. So I opened up my elevator pitch to include people who had inherited properties and just didn't live near them. Absentee owners. Ooh, I hit the jackpot. All right, but I, I signed up to host a booth at a local small business expo one weekend. And guys, I left that two day event with over 30 hot leads. I was onto something. I'd figured out what kinds of houses and what kinds of sellers I needed to talk to and how I could easily, confidently, and consistently make offers on their houses. And all in all, I bought four of those houses. I made over 25,000 bucks from one weekend of quote unquote work. And it really gave me the springboard to jump into more and more deals, all the while getting better and better and better with my speech, my determination, and my enthusiasm to make this thing happen. I'd crack the code on what to buy and how to buy it. And that's the real secret to number one. All right. You barely need to invest 10 to 15 hours a week to become a successful real estate investor. And in some markets, you can do it in less time than that. But I know you're in a really special situation with a hot seller's market and it's going to be way more difficult. Yeah, I'm going to get to you in a minute when we get to secret number three. As I got to tell you, though, it was a lease option that saved me from staying in a regular old job and from staying in that regular real estate rat race of chasing the clear to close and listing houses. Guys, these big 10, 15 or $40,000 option fees, they're no joke. All right. They come in pretty fast and pretty strong and they can keep your boat floating for long droughts if you allocate them appropriately. And guys, even like if I get in a tight spot now, I know that all I need to do is go get another house, buy another house, and I'll be back in action. Or even if I'm not in a tight spot, let's just say I want to go on an extra vacation or two. All I got to do is go buy another house. I got to go do another deal so that I can keep living and I won't have to miss out on anything going on in my life. Another really cool thing about lease options is that you're not only helping yourself and your family, you're helping your future. Yeah, that's true. But you're helping your neighbors and your town and your whole slice of the world. You can get lease options on houses. You can buy houses without needing a bunch of money. All you got to do is shift your mindset that this is going to happen and you can get that first one done. After that, you know, it's all totally possible. And let's be clear, you might not clear 10,000 tomorrow because this isn't a get rich quick kind of situation. But once you figure out the what and how, you're going to be landing deals all day, every day. All right, though, let's get on with secret number two. You don't need a bunch of money to buy houses. I mean, what if I told you you could do a deal like I did with just a thousand dollars? Would that make you excited? Well, what if I told you that you could do these deals with $500 invested? Is that even more enticing? All right. 
Well, buckle your seatbelts because what if I told you you could do this deal with $100? Like one little Benjamin and you could buy a house. And the crowd goes, whoa! <laughs> All right, guys, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You only need 100 bucks. I mean, is your mind blown right now? Because that's seriously how much it takes to buy a house today. And I'll tell you, Honestly, I've bought houses with a $10 check, but I, I don't teach that anymore. I teach $100 because it's kind of ridiculous to buy a house for 10 bucks, isn't it? 100 bucks is a much more stable number. <laughs> so I want you to understand that you can afford to buy houses because it only takes 100 bucks. I mean, whatever your goal is or whatever it is that you want out of real estate investing, it's really not that far away. And I'm going to show you. All right. I want you to understand that your first deal is out there right now and it's waiting on you and you don't need a big old chunk of change to go get it. It's cool, too, how, you know, most of my students, they only need the right amount of tweaking in their calls with sellers. They only need the right amount of practice in their presentations and they only need just a, a small little dose of confidence to go on these appointments and get the deals done so that they're making better offers and cashing bigger checks. All right, you don't need a bunch of money to buy houses. You you don't need really any money at all. What you need is time and tactics and well probably some other T word like a tic tac or something. I don't I don't even know, but let's just transition over to secret number 3. You only need a few motivated sellers to make this thing work because it's going to work in your market even if you're in that hot seller's market, because anywhere that you have houses and you have people, this is gonna work. And it's way easier to get these lease option deals without any money involved than you might think. And guys, seriously, like I want you to understand that. All you have to do is figure out the process that we talked about in secret number one. And once you know what kind of sellers you need and how you can buy their houses, the transition comes with ease. <laughs> and then it's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me tell you my three favorite states to do these deals. Naturally, my favorite state is home sweet home to me. And no, I'm not going to sing Rocky Top, but this is Clay. He's one of my one on one students um, in Tennessee. He's actually in my market. And I mean, I'm training people right here in my backyard because there's so many deals. There's so many deals. I can't buy them all. So I, I'm training other people how to go out and buy houses and help these sellers. All right. But what Clay, what was really cool about Clay is that he was used to going out and house hunting all the time and it was wearing him out. So we worked together and I taught him how to become the go to person in his little area, in his zip code, in his slice of Knoxville. So that anytime anybody wanted to sell a house quickly, they called Clay. He's, he's doing absolutely amazing. Now, my second favorite state to buy houses is Georgia. Uh, this is Christina. She's actually an agent in Georgia. And uh, she started with owner financing and then, you know, selling on lease options. So she found this house from a Craig, uh, from a Facebook post. A Facebook post, guys. Like, if you're spending a whole bunch of mar money on marketing, you're wasting your money. OK, Clay's figured out how to make his phone ring and Christina has figured out how to use Facebook to get the leads coming in. Now, the third best state to do these deals is Alabama. Bobby joined my group program a couple Sundays ago and by Wednesday, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, he had a deal under contract. All right. And even though he's in the group program, like he was such an action taker and I absolutely adore action takers. So I hopped on the phone with him to do a quick call to make sure like everything was good and everything was rolling smoothly and he understood the process. And like, I just wanted to, you know, kind of put my hands on the situation and make sure it was good. Y'all, he sent me a text message the next day and he was like, Whitney, you're not going to believe this. I think after talking to you and going back and re looking at the property, I think I might make an extra 20 or $30,000 on this deal. Holy crap, all of y'all like that is absolutely amazing. An extra 20 or $30,000 that he's going to make from a 30 minute conversation with me. Oh, I love helping my students. 
And just in case you are like outside of the country watching this, this is uh, Zoe. She's in Costa Rica. And just last Saturday, she sent me this message that her and her boyfriend have got a house that they're buying in Costa Rica using my strategies and my tools to get the job done. Like, this is so much fun. I love helping people buy houses. And just in case you are in California, like I have students in California. This is Glenn. And him and Ashley, um, Lorraine, a bunch of my other California students have figured out that it's easier to be in California and buy houses in other markets. So they're virtually putting lease options on houses. Uh, Glenn is working on deals in Ohio and Texas. Um, Ashley is working on deals in Colorado. So even if you're in California, you can still learn how to do these deals, even if you're in like a crazy, crazy hot seller's market where like most people aren't investing. And speaking of California, it's time to do our live house hunting. I'm so, so excited. James is on the line. Uh, he called me earlier and he wanted to talk about a deal, but I told him to wait until this presentation so that I could teach everybody what I was looking at and how we get these deals done. So, uh, James, are you there? Hold on, maybe we need to share screens. James, 